What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Blends with 11-time world champion and the fastest man on the planet, Usain Bolt. Everybody is like, yo, he's a fire. Like, I know. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. For sure. Let's go. Don't worry. You saying I want to talk about you growing up and playing football and cricket yeah. in the streets of Jamaica with your brother. What was the footwear like back then? What footwear? <laughs> Barefoot? Nah, for me, yeah. When we were in the country, we don't really wear shoes. We just have fun when I was outside just playing football. Naturally, there's countless times I've lost a couple of toenails. Really? Just playing on the streets and everything. But for me, I would never exchange for anything. It's just a lot of fun, you know what I mean? Absolutely. You say when it comes to track spikes, some stick out more than others. Michael Johnson's Olympics 1996, the gold ones, but these that homage your high school colors yeah. and then also have the gold. Yeah. Where do you rank them in terms of the best spikes overall? So for me, these were the best, you know what I mean? When they came up there like, yo, what are we gonna do this year? Pitching ideas, and I was like, you know what? I like, it. Yeah. do my school colors and put one in gold. So they kind of, Mix and match all of them together, and it was listen. Everybody loved these. Yeah, everybody. Like, it was like, yo, these are fire. Like, I know. You seen? You watched the Super Bowl with Michael Jordan one year. Yeah. What was that like? What did you guys talk about? Listen, first of all, I was surprised how tall he is. That's the first thing. You know okay. what I mean? But uh, we just rapped, you know what I mean? Because uh, Michael Jordan is, is a legend. So we just chill, talk about basketball a little bit. He's into golf, so we talk about golf. I'm not good at golf. No. But it was a good vibe. He was chill and he was, it was cool. It was, yeah. it was mad cool. I was excited just to hang with him, you know what I mean? Was that the first time you met him? Or? Yeah, it was wow. the first time. You know what I mean? He's the Gatorade ambassador, so it was a pleasure just to, to be around him, just to talk, to, to understand what he, he did and just how he is as a person. So. It was pretty good. You talked about back in Jamaica, the high school. Did anyone have Jordans back in high school? Not where, not where I was, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not where I was. It was pretty much just simple stuff. Uh, a little bit of Clarks, and then it was a little bit of Reebok, and then I got introduced to Puma. So okay. that's where it all started out for me. Talk about what it means to you to be recognized all over the world, and not just in one place. Up till now, like last week, I was sitting down, I was hanging with my friend, I was like, yo, can you believe we're, how far we've come, do you know what I mean? Watching Mom and Ali, Pelly and all these guys, Michael Jordan, Michael Johnson, yeah. and now I'm in that category, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a different feeling to be walking on the street and people are like, yo, you saying, can I take a picture? Yeah. Can I hang? You know what I mean? It's, it's different. I, I, I've never thought I would ever experience this, you know what I mean? So to actually be in that situation is just a dream come true. It's, it's on a different level, so. That's amazing. It's, I want to talk about the recent collaborators Puma is working with. Rihanna with the Fenty line, yeah. The Weeknd. You yeah. signed to Puma, I think, in 2002. Yeah. Did you ever think that these celebrity entertainers were going to follow suit? When I got sponsored, I was just excited, you know yeah. I, mean? I was like, yo, this is good. It's a good start. I can help my family, you know what I mean? And then I started traveling. It's getting bigger. Companies start growing. And then they started these killer collabs with, with everybody. And I was like, yo, this is going to be a different level right now. The Fenty's. A fire, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. As soon as they hit stores, they're like, gone. Yeah. When the weekend came out with the yeah. XOs, I'm like, yo, listen, I need, <laughs> I need Put every in that pair. Call. Just hit me with every pair, you know yeah. what I mean? Just hit me every pair because I love these. These right here are fire. People get deals and it's a lot about free apparel and free shoes, but what I read is that Puma actually sends stuff to your high school. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. How that got started was, after we, we got a deal, after a while, I remember I went back to school to watch some football. And they were like, yo, a lot of guys didn't have any proper football boots. And I was like, yo, listen, all right, cool. Let me talk to my sponsors. So I hit them up. I was like, listen, my sports team needs some stuff. And he's like, no problem. We can yeah. get them. So they, they hooked the track team up. They hooked the football team up. They hooked the, even the cricket team up. They, wow. they, all the teams that are in the school get Puma stuff every year. So every year they get a proper new gears. and. It's always that's fresh awesome. and clean, you know what I mean? A lot of people just see the, the oh, he got these early because yeah, he sponsored yeah. the Puma. That's yeah. a little deeper and, yeah. and really applaudable. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I, try to, I try to give back in any way possible, you know what I mean? And Puma always supports me, no matter what. It could be a simple team or just getting some shoes for some people, because sometimes, like, I'm in Kingston, people hit me up like, yo, I have a team here, uh, we'd like to get some. I was like, all right, cool, let me talk to my people. And they, all, they never say no, you know Yeah, I mean? you're the plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the plug. You're the plug. 
You've seen in the last few years, we've seen a re-emergence in technical runners. You know, we have the Flynets, the Boost Technology, Puma with the Sugis. What do you think about these? And when you were training, did shoes look like these? <laughs> no, I think, I think over, over time, uh, it's evolved. Technology has evolved. I think they're finding different ways to make you more comfortable because I don't really go for long runs. You know okay. what I mean? I'm, I'm yeah, a, I wanted to I'm ask a quick that. sprinter, you yeah. know what I mean? So for me, when I get these, these are for like when I'm warming up, jogging, or say I just want a casual stroll, you know what I mean? So these are much comfortable, easy just to slip on, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You said once that you admired Jordan that he had his name on shoes and that you said that you really want your name on shoes, but yeah. you really want to be involved in the design process. Now that you're retired, maybe you have more time to design a special Usain Bolt Puma? Yeah, we're working on it. It's in the pipeline. Uh, for me, uh, that was a big thing. Like when I actually got my pose and I was like, listen, it's just like Jordan. Yeah. We're gonna work on it. So I put it on my spikes, but now that I'm retired, I'm gonna, I told him, listen, we need to get into it, make a shoe just to hit him with that, that Jordan sign. I got mine, so yeah. it works out. It's something that's in the pipeline that we're trying to work on to, to drop the fire on everybody. <laughs> we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. You get the browser shells and I'll pick up some shoes. Don't worry, I'm focused. <laughs> Let's do it. Listen. Definitely. I need these weekends, need those. you know what I mean? Need, definitely want these. I don't know which one I want, but let's just get both of them, right? I live for suede, bro. I live for suede. Hook me up then. Yeah, let's do Hook it. Hook me up then. Right, bye. <laughs> All right, comes out to 483.94. And I need these for LA trip. I need it. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Thank you, boss. All right. So the legend Usain Bolt came through, told some great stories, got some Pumas that he didn't even have. Thank you so much for taking the time. No worries, appreciate it, man.